Hey there, Lee Swallowtail here. I'm going to show you how I customize my kayak to put a little backrest on it using a cooler. Most uh, of the backrests I've seen in other kayaks are still too low for me. I have a little issues with my back and if it's not comfortable I'm not taking it out. You can see how I have this set up right here and also, you can see I have a boat. So I got this kayak to go out and uh, do some photography of birds in some uh, areas that are a little too shallow for my boat. And this is a little, supposed to be a little more, less work. Kayak is a Future Beach 144, which is 12 foot. As you can see, it's on a trailer because it is—it's a good size trailer. It's not a good size kayak. It's not very light, but I need stability, and if I go camping, I want to carry a lot of stuff. If you've been on uh, YouTube, you'll see a lot of customizations that other people have put on here, like uh, this crate with the wheels for a dolly, so I can dolly it around. You have your your anchor system with pulleys. Got me a homemade PVC stake so I can stake out. And of course your paddle. This boat does come with a with its own seat, as you can see. But it's very low. And it's not very soft. So I put a couple of cushions in for comfort, which makes me sit even higher. So this cooler is quite higher, so I'm resting my upper back, even my shoulders, up on the cooler. And uh, for padding here, I just wear the life jacket. And the padding on the life jacket against my back is perfect. So I can use a life jacket and uh, have some padding back here. Here's how I attach this thing. The important key is this strap here has to be something that doesn't stretch. This just happens to be a strap from something I can't even remember. I'm a little bit of a pack rat, but uh, that part has to stay rigid or st so when you lean back there's no play. Uh, strap on the back is just a bungee cord, fairly tight. There's no weight pushing that way, so it's no big deal. The cooler is not really that usable when you're in the kayak because it's really hard to flex around and get into it. But uh, I use it for dry storage or cooler for when, uh, when I travel to a spot and I get out of the kayak and I can have my cooler in there or dry storage. But it's always used for my back support so it's really, everything's clear. Here's how I uh, take it out off very quickly. Just one bungee cord in the back. Boom, that side's taken clear. The front clips, I just lean the cooler forward, create some slack. Clip, it's off. I also put a little rubber or foam in the bottom so it's a little, doesn't slip around as much plastic against plastic. To make uh, the attachment to the cooler, it's just four the little little clips that you have, all the little clips, one on each corner. You put them kind of high, you put them too low. I don't think you're going to get the sport you want. And then on the kayak, same thing. One, two, three, four clips. And that's really it. And to put it back on, it's just the same as uh, taking it off. Lean it forward, put the clip on, put the clip on, we want it. Then on the back side, bungee cord, this corner. That 
corner and it's on. All the weight when you push it backwards. I weigh about 173. My son weighs 200 and has no problem holding either of us. Now you can see how I can just lean back and take all the pressure off my back. It's very easy to paddle with it. If I really want to get some speed, I can lean forward and get a little more speed, but just you're relaxing two and a half, three miles an hour, no problem. Very easy. I had the cooler ready, so this cost me almost nothing.